fellow cyber dogs and fellow minecrafters and fellow mine squatches all over the world. This is the Lockaba with the Lockaba presents Let's Play Minecraft 1.8 Hardcore. Mm -mm. Boy, is it hardcore. Here's a Minecraft hardcore high five with a carrot in your face. I just munched me some carrots to get my food back up. <clears throat> And we're going to get some stuff done. Let's uh, come on over here. And I believe this is the one we're looking for. I've been thinking about. And thinking about, thinking about, thinking about what we're going to do up top. And I had an idea. And that is, you know, we've got, we've got this uh, raw stone down below. And then we've got the polished diorite over there. And I was thinking, well, what if we did our columns in polished diorite and did like an outside frame for the top in polished diorite? Because then it would not only carry over that sense of things over there, but it would also give us the light color on top as well as bottom, but it would make it different, you know? And I think that that could be our answer. Let's see how much polish. Yeah, we've got plenty of it. We've got plenty of it, so I think I think we're good to do that. So let's go and do that right this very moment. Right on up here. Because it's nighttime out, and it's not like we got any place we can be going. <clears throat> and I hate to break and waste this glass, but let's do this just like that. And over on this side. Pow. And pow. Let's do it at the corners of the building, just like that as well. And basically every place that we've got a demarcation here, we're going to do this. And I think it's going to be pretty rocking cool. Let's just make sure we're staying symmetrical here. Oh, except they're not symmetrical. Pow, there we go. So we'll have to bust this one out. And this one is also not symmetrical. There we go. Symmetry. Pow. Okay. Now we're going to do these corners. Poink. And this corner. Poink. We're going to hop up here. And I think we'll come up two. Let's do this. I hope we'll have enough polished die, right? We should. Yep. No. Just get that guy in there in the corner. There we are. Whoa. I think we just got our extra blocks in whether we wanted them in or not. Oh, stop that. Got my angle bad. <clears throat> Pardon me. There we go. Yeah, we will have enough. Awesome. Ooh, forward a little bit. There we go. So we don't fall down. Falling down would be bad. I know, guys. You want out of there. You want a chance to get a walk or something. We'll do that soon. that don't belong. Uh, this one. And these. Ridiculous. There we go. And this guy goes up here. And you there. And you there. And you there. And we never did put these ones in over here. in and kapow and kapow 
what we'll do is we'll fill that in with panes. <clears throat> and then I think what we'll actually do maybe is, um, hmm, tough call. I think we will go, whoa, what you doing there, pal? Throwing your blocks away. I think what we may do is we may actually go up and in one and do blocks all the way around one row and then like do some glass and then do some diorite and do some glass and we'll make it come up in kind of a stepping fashion. We don't have a whole lot of polished diorite left, I don't think. Let's take a look here. Now we got 47 of them. That's not a lot, lot. But we do have some poly some raw stone and we might be able to kind of mix them together. Let's see here. There we go, 64 glass there. And another city full glass. And another city full glass. I figured we had to be getting close to, to our glass being cookified. Let's see here. And like so. I don't know if that's going to be enough to go around or not. I'm hoping it will be. But we shall see very soon. And today, and up we go. I'd like to be able to see out. It makes me happy when I can see what's going on out in the wide, wide world. Go. I think we may have to make a little bit more, but we'll know soon enough. Shouldn't have to make many, though. Just like that. Yep, gonna need a few more. We're going to need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so we can make one more. And that will be enough. Oh, what am I talking about? I got 32 more right there. Huh. I'm getting too excited. There we go. All right, well, back up we go. That sure makes life easier. All right, and there we go. Glass all the way around. Let's uh, just step out quick, see how that looks from outside. Oh yeah, I like that. Whoa, you! Hey, 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 back off! Wow. That must be one potent chunk of glass. Wow, he scared the ever-loving crap out of me. He scared the ever-loving crap out of me. He must have hurt himself falling down or something, because there's no way two wax with a pane of glass should have finished him off. Alright, let's go on up here. And let's pillar our way up. Put that there. And now... Oh, that horrible, horrible sound. Put that right there. And let's try doing these all the way around. I think we should have enough. We may have to go dig more sand. I like the idea of... of Doing more glass. And you there. There we go. Yep, I like the idea of kind of doing a glass pyramid up. And if we don't particularly, we find we don't particularly care for the look of the diorite, we'll figure something out. But for now, I th think I like this. Sometimes, you know, I, I go, hey, I like that, and then the next time I play, I go, ah, uh, no. So we'll, we will see. And 
in there. basically doing doing steps up like that we may need to go get ourselves more direct oh there we go. I was gonna say I thought we were close enough but I think I may have to go and mine more direct and I may have to go dig more sand gonna make this happen either that or we may have to change materials part way up which could be nice for variation Oop, that though there we go <clears throat> now of course once we've got it set probably what we'll do is the corner blocks These blocks right here, as they step up, we may use uh, glowstone there. I have a feeling we are going to definitely have to get more diorite to polish up. Because I think we're going to run out long before we finish this. There we go. Get up, please. Thank you. I just have a little bit of trouble with the crosshair in the John Smith texture pack because it's so small. It kind of blends into the background. Alright, so. And an act. Mm, you know, well, no. I, I think it's it's okay without without adding in more diorite blocks there. Let's see, do we have any more diorite blocks? We've got a half a dozen, huh? Ooh, I know what we can do. How about this? How about we do this? Just two, three, and four. Six, seven, eight, nine, I'm just keeping count, bear with me, ten, eleven, and twelve. Check this out. I like it. I like it a lot. It provides our light. Gives a sense of the con continuity of the uh, structural support. is pretty good looking and it'll give us some variation yep I like it so now the question is do we go up another layer or do we just fill it in hmm 
Well, let's go down and take a look. I think eventually I'm going to remove this uh, this ladder and put in a proper staircase somehow. And go off over this way. Yep, I like it. I like it. Hmm. Or do I? I like it, but it's missing something. Like, maybe we need to break it up along this level with something. You know? Something, something. here. We've got a lot of the polished granite. Got a few andesite. Got a few... Oh, you know what? We've got a fair amount of raw stone and plenty of ability to cook more stone. Let's break that up. Let's, let's cook up a, a couple of stacks of cobblestone into raw stone and let's break it up with the raw stone. How about that? Let's do that. I think that will look very good. It'll give us some nice variation. Oops. Except, do that though. And, <clears throat> in fact, let's uh, cook up two more stacks. Just to make sure we got plenty. And maybe we'll use some in the ceiling upstairs for continuity as well. I keep it on the wrong side of things. There we go. And do this. Seven and eight we're going to need. And get that to cook a fine. Now, let's do this. Let's try this. Yeah, we should have enough. Yep. I think that is our answer. That is a very good answer right there. It won't change anything inside, but yeah, I like that much better. I like that much, much better. And it gets us some of our uh, some of our dark oak back, so that we've got that available for other things. This axe is going to go any second. Like I said, the axe has reached the point where it's just too expensive to repair anymore. And so we're going to just use it up and we'll do some enchanting with the 30 levels we've got. To, uh, you, okay. Let's see. Yep, I like it. I like it. I'm, I'm even kind of tempted to do it up like that. Let's see how that looks. I like that. It breaks it up nicely. The dark oak gives us a really nice tone. It's nice and stable structural wise. I like it. Do it on this end. There we go. Now let's step back and take a look. Yep. I like that. I like that. And we may... We'll have to get more polished diorite, but we may actually do that with the polished diorite in the same kind of pattern. Alrighty. Grab 
these. There we go. Just try this. I like that. I like that a lot, as a matter of fact. I like that a lot. It's got lots of good contrast. Makes it much more visually interesting. Let's see how it looks inside. <clears throat> yep, I like that. That is neato. That is neato. I don't think we'll do it on the interior walls just to keep the interior walls unique. Though, you know, I mean, might, might as well experiment. Might as well do the experiment. Here, pick up our blocks. And a cooking wall, really, it sh should be. Yeah. The walls in a kitchen, you know, they should be fireproof. I like it. I like it a lot. I like the effect. And like I say, I may even... Well, let's give it a try on this side. Just knock out that. That. And that. And that. Do this. Give us some outside light. And break it up and give us a transition. Yep. There it is, guys. Though, we could do it. 